Hello, welcome to another Epic Update. It's been a couple weeks since we've done one of these between the Child's Play Marathon that we did and the holiday here in the U.S. causing some real life scheduling conflicts. I know I said in the past that I wasn't going to continue apologizing for missing these, but uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to apologize for missing the last couple weeks, and hopefully we won't miss any more going forward. I know I've said that in the past, and I know it's not going to happen, but it's worth trying anyway. Uh, there's been a few things happened since the last time we recorded one of these, and one of them, uh, since some of them actually, since we recorded our podcast on Wednesday night. The first of which is the build for the chopper and Azeroth choppers, or the choppers, rather, and Azeroth choppers. It's done. Uh, the next to last episode came out Thursday, which is yesterday as of the time of recording this, and voting is open now through noon on June 2nd, which is Monday. Uh, that's noon Pacific time, U.S., uh, go vote for the chopper you think is the best chopper, the one you want to win, with, you know, however you want to decide. Uh, I know I said in the past that I was going to wait and see. I play both factions. Granted, lately I've been playing more Horde, but overall I've played more Alliance. I was really torn on this. I tried to come up with a list of pros and cons on which one I wanted to vote for. I think both choppers actually did a pretty good job of representing the faction. However, sorry Alliance folks, I have to go with the Horde chopper, and the reason is... The Alliance Chopper, and a lot of people didn't like the, the stylization of it. I thought it was great. I thought it looks, the tank and the rear fender, I think both look like articulated shoulder armor, granted stylized, but Blizzard Art is stylized. If you're not sure on that, do an image search online for articulated plate armor, and you'll see some shoulders that kind of resemble that tank and kind of resemble that fender. The problem that I have with that bike, though, is that it seems to encapsulate Stormwind, not the Alliance. And the Horde Chopper, I think, did a better job of embodying the entire faction. So I'm going to go Horde. Sorry, Alliance folks. Uh, granted, even though I have been playing more Horde lately, whenever I do log in on an Alliance tune, I feel more like I'm at home. So at, in heart, I, I'm an Alliance player, really. But anyway, that's enough of Azeroth Choppers. The final episode will come out next week, and I think that's where we're going to get the reveal of which bike won. Now... Moving on in World of Warcraft news, specifically to the game, went live this morning. There's a buff called Heart of the Valorous, and what that does is it's going to go for a week, and it gives you double the valor you earn for a daily quest, killing bosses, completing LFR dungeons, scenarios, what have you. Now, here's the cool thing about this. If you're already capped, which I was when it came out, and it kind of frustrated me, but if you log out on the Timeless Isle after you're capped, before maintenance... It, that buff that you get, the Valor of the Ancients, stays with you until you zone out. So though, And they do stack, both the buffs stack. So you can stay on the island, log out, maintenance happens, the buff comes through, is going to extend through the following week, and you keep that buff with a whole new zero for your weekly Valor cap, and you can get now basically 300 times the Valor, or I'm sorry, 300% of the Valor that you normally would for completing quests on the Isle, turning in your coins, whatever. So just a little tip, I plan on doing that. Actually, I logged out last night because I'm leaving town this weekend and I won't be back for sure before maintenance. So I decided to go ahead and log out on the aisle last night after raid. So that way when I come back on Tuesday, I can just start right over from scratch, get Valor, lickety split. Moving on to Hearthstone, the current season where if you hit hit rank 20 you will get the black temple themed card back is coming to a close i think it actually closes today maybe tomorrow not sure they have said that a new season will be coming in june and a new card back but they haven't revealed what that card back will be i'm kind of curious if it's not going to have something to do with nax because they did say that the nax adventure mode for hearthstone will be out this summer so maybe we'll get a nax card back to kind of lead into that coming out not sure we'll see on Heroes of the Storm news, there was a new patch to the alpha which required you to completely uninstall what you had if you were in the alpha and install the new client. Coming with that patch was a big change to the UI, which I think for the most part was an improvement. I got a few things that I dislike about it, but overall it was a major improvement. New soundtrack, which a lot of people liked. I'm indifferent on. And also Murky. A lot of people are... There's a lot of mixed things out there about Murky, and frankly it reminds me of when... Mists of Pandaria was announced for World of Warcraft. The people who were at BlizzCon were all about it. The people who weren't thought pandas were stupid. Seems to be the same way with Murky. The people who are in the alpha and have the ability to play Murky, they're really digging him. The people who aren't and are just not interested in heroes or hating on heroes for whatever reason, they think Murky is a stupid hero. 
from the outside looking in, I guess I can kind of see that because kind of his whole point is to die. Uh, he has very limited uh, damage abilities and very little health. He dies quickly, but that's the design of the character. And I, I think it's overall, I played him a little bit against some AI, and I think it's kind of fun, actually. Uh, a little bit difficult to figure out where to put your eggs so you can respawn, but like I said, it's overall kind of fun. The other Heroes news is they did announce, there was a blue post on the forums that said, if you're currently in the alpha, you can participate in future betas. That doesn't necessarily say that if you're in the alpha, you will be in the beta when it goes to beta. Hopefully, they don't take the game away from those of us who are in the alpha, and they just let, go ahead and roll us over into the beta. Hopefully, that's the case, but not specifically spelled out in that post. Pretty sure that's what it means, though. Anyway, guys, that is it for this week. So until next time, have fun online, y'all.